This is not an average surfboard. Rather than traditional fibreglass, it's made from recycled carbon fibre. Some of the material that we're using in previous life would have been used in uh, aircraft as well as um, wind turbines and um, automotive parts. A group of aerospace engineers and organic chemists from Deakin University have begun their own business, creating surfboards out of carbon fibre that was destined for the tip. So when you create a high performance product like an airplane, all of that needs to go into landfill one day and that just gets thrown in and uh, recycled as well as they can, but unfortunately it mostly ends up in landfill. The group have asked a friend to test their design at Janjak Beach near Geelong and early reviews are positive. It seems a way lighter to sort of hold, um, but when you're out there, it's just, it gets probably more speed than a normal fiberglass board, but it, yeah, it just felt really, really good. Carbon fibre is incredibly strong, but also lightweight, and that's helped revolutionise industries like aviation and motoring, all the way through to consumer sporting items. That success has created a problem, though. What to do with the carbon fibre in those items once they've reached the end of their useful life. It's not just old items. Large amounts of carbon fibre are left over from manufacturing. About 30% to 50% of all the carbon fibres that's used for production actually end up uh, as waste. There are some research papers that say about 45,000 tonnes of carbon fibre enters landfill each year and that's the equivalent mass of four Eiffel Towers. Researchers are looking at the automotive and cement industries to recycle larger amounts of carbon fibre, but consumer goods like surfboards could also be part of the solution. I reckon for, for a first try, I reckon this thing is going to lead to something absolutely awesome. With just eight boards on order, the company is still small but looking to ride the wave of sustainability. Stephen Schubert, ABC News, Janjuk.